And then we had it. Hydro gas bottle like this. This Please. is our hydro tank. Turn on the key before opening the air. It has no electricity. I'm starting to open the gas tank now. Yes, it's turned power on. The world's first motorcycle to use hydrogen fuel. Fell cell success. Welcome back to the channel. As before, I used to make a clip. Introducing a battery of. The future is hydrogen fuel cell. It has a lot of advantages. The charging speed will be very fast. Durability, it's very high, very low depreciation. Does not pollute the environment. It's being used on the Toyota Mirai. We're going to rebuild it today. So that we will have. The first motorcycle in the world. Use of hydrogen fuel. The details of the battery. This fuel you can see the previous clip. I have a link under the section. Blue tick point in the right corner of the screen. Then we've had success this with This includes model. hydrogen production and supply for fuel cell. It generates electricity like this. So today we're going to do a couple of cars. This battery and again. Larger size so that we'll have a voltage of 60 volts. Keep this fuel cell. Modify from Toyota Mirai. In Vietnam, there is almost Parts none. for it. I need to order from the US. We're going to have a battery like this. This is the finished product of a battery that includes cathode and here's air supply line. And this is the oxygen supply line. Oxygen uses the air. And now we're going to start installing it. I will install in VinFast Clara A2. We're going to build a production system first and the hydrogen separator first. Ha, huh, this is improved from the clips electrolyte in front of the water car. First, we'll need to buy two, a water pipe like this. The price of buying to water filter cups is 69,000 each. To pieces after shipping fee is 161,000. It's the top and the bottom cup. And here I will buy it. The connector through. I'll put the two together and wrap the rubber. Next, I will buy two iron bars. Make to PCs electrode conductors. These two bars are also cheap. Only a few 10,000. And the next one is very. And that's important, too. That's the pole board. I'm going to put it in a laser cutting shop. It's 300,000 for 20 pieces like this. We'll measure the size so it fits in here. Give me the blueprints. They're going to cut it. It just got into this cup. I will buy a clam. It just hit the pole. It will now be reconnected. And now we will put it in the first tube. It's going to drill to get these two poles up and then plug it in. This will drill to holes to get out. And then we'll cut it into, make it shorter. That's pretty complete for you guys. And now we're going to wrap it up and let it close. We'll connect it to the air hose, steam tube to let it soak in the water, in case there is a fire. Then it will only burn a short section without burning, over to the pole board. We're going to start connecting for vases. This electrolyte together so that we push power up high. In the previous version, we used a bottle. There's plastic in here, but there's plastic in there. I find it quite brittle. It's tough with this white plastic. This plastic is better. It's tougher, better under pressure. Now, we're going to connect the system. There are four of these. I replaced it with four. White plastic electrolytic water filter. It's much tougher. And here we'll connect again. It's going to go through like this. On the one hand, it's going to produce On one hydrogen. side, it produces oxygen. And then we'll connect it over here, and it'll build up the The principle pressure. is the same as the previous In version. In the second version, I have improved. Increase the capacity. One side hydrogen, one electric. side electric oxygen body. And it's going to put hydrogen in here. I will connect the poles together. And now I'm going to supply the power. Then this power to cost it cheap. We can use solar power. Inventory after assembly finished. We have a complete system. Hold to jar. This left. I'll connect it to the cathode to produce hydrogen. And this one on the right will connect to the anode to produce oxygen. And now turn on. It's very strong. It's powerful. So it's stronger than the previous generation. That's a lot. Then the power boost is very successful. This is the Hero Gas Storage and Production System. Our complete gas hero is manufactured out here. It's going to go into a temporary pressure vessel through the air and we'll get in. In light of this air compressor, this compressor compresses here and we'll have the output here. Head out, we will lead into the vase to one like this.
then. So we've got hydrogen gas bottles like this here. Here you go, brothers. I remove the cover and below it is the battery compartment. I will remove all the old ones and replace them. Fuel cell, the space below is. It's empty now, a lot of it. Designing the fuel cell, it's the same as this trunk. Let's put it here instead. Now I'm going to plug the battery in and connect it to the pole. This is the oxygen conduit. We can just take it down here. It's going to get oxygen from down here. If you want to be more careful, we're going to put it in the wind filter. This is the hydrogen head. Hydro head, we're going to put it in here. The trunk spaces, it's also quite wide now. You can design an air tank here. However, opening and closing takes a we lot of We have to work. open the trunk temporarily. I designed it for the outside. I'm going to drill a hole and I'm going to put the cylinder out like this. This is the prototype. What if the official version we can design for? The valve go out and the vase can also be put in the trunk. Keep it clean and maybe I will. Use the electric valve again. Electric valves are much more compact. Now we will test. Then we have the complete system and this is gas. Then the key turns on. When the air is not turned on, don't turn it on. And now turn on the gas. Check it immediately. We've got a voltage of 60 to 0.8 volts. It has been successful. Now I'm going to drill a hole to get the gas out. Now we're going to put the cladding back on. Okay, our finished product is complete. This is our air tank. And now we're going to start the actual test. Turn the key. It doesn't have electricity until it's turned on. I'm starting to open the gas tank now. That's when we hear air sound. And turn on power. We start running. How to see reality when the discharge current of this side is good or not. Here. What we got here. The world's first fuel-powered motorcycle. Fuel cell success. The exhaust flow is also very good, guys. We use it completely. Hydrogen to run not gas in line. Hydrogen tank right here. I can see that it is also very high. It's not lower than Lion battery. And the reality of the last few days I've been testing a tank like this. It can run around 65 kilometers, 70 kilometers, and the electricity used to produce this hydrogen is. I use solar power, so the cost is very low. The second one is because of the structure of this battery. It should simply be that this is a super durable We're battery. We're going to reduce the cost of buying batteries. Change the battery replace for Lion battery use or LB battery. I see it is very fast, guys. It is very high at discharge current. Here, and now the key is the same. Start closing, close the hydrogen. It will delay a little. There's some hydrogen in the battery and shut down the power even though I still have the key. Okay, success. Thank you guys for following the clip. If the clip is helpful, don't forget to like to support. The spirit will matter. You can subscribe my channel. Watch the next clips on the subject of science, technology as well as DIY. These are unique technology products. Bye bye and see you later.